After years and years of waiting, this week it finally happened. Midas himself has finally returned in Fortnite. After escaping his prison cell in the underworld, he has been trapped for the last four years. Now, you're able to find a brand new version of Midas on the Fortnite island. It goes by the name Ascendant Midas. Alongside that, we also have a bunch of free Midas rewards everyone's able to unlock. And one of those are even the brand new Midas skin that we'll be unlocking right here in this video. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 111 days, whenever you log on to Fortnite, this will happen. No! But if you do with the thumbs up button, in exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, we've wasted too much time. Midas has finally made his return. There are a bunch of Midas rewards, one of them even being his new skin. Let's get into it. Super quickly, before we unlock the Ascendant Midas skin for free. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, Chapter 5 Season 2 is one of the most broken seasons of all time. Now, I know that statement might sound like a bad thing. It's actually broken in the best and most fun way possible. I'm talking about all of the different glitches we've already seen this season that I've showcased right here on the channel. This one that essentially allows you to hover across the entire island. Or the infinite dash glitch. The flying superhero glitch. And you can't forget about the invisible wall glitch I showcased in the last video. Well, now it's time for our next glitch. And this one will actually help you eliminate one of the most difficult bosses here in Chapter 5 Season 2, being none other than Cerberus. This dude is tough to eliminate. Not only do you have to fight through multiple different waves of his evil wolves, but then once he spawns, you have to deal with him and his incredible powerful shotgun, as well as his dashing ability that always comes as a complete surprise, scared the daylights out of me numerous different times. Now, this is probably the easiest glitch I've showcased this season. First things first, once you jump out of the battle bus, you're obviously going to want to make your way to where Cerberus is located over at the Grim Gate location. Once you're here, go ahead and pick up a few different weapons of your choice. Make sure you get some ammunition as well. Drink some shield as well, because we are still gonna have to fight the wolves. And last but not least, acquire at least 30 metal. Then what you're gonna wanna do is take your metal and build it exactly where you can see me building these three walls right now. Once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna edit each one of these walls exactly like you see me doing, basically just editing the top row. Once you're done with that, you'll essentially be left with a line of walls that are pretty short, extending out to directly from the Cerberus statue. After that, you can officially start challenging Cerberus, and you're gonna need to spend a little bit of time eliminating the wolves. Thankfully, this isn't really that difficult at all. And now Cerberus will spawn, ladies and gentlemen, but check this out. Where we built the walls is literally exactly where he spawned. No matter how hard he tries to move or run in any direction, he literally isn't able to. All you need to do now is take your weapon and start shooting against Cerberus, and you can eliminate him with ease. He will try and run, he'll still try and shoot you, but just make sure you get out of his range and you'll be a okay and before you know it you will have eliminated Cerberus just like that without basically taking any damage. Without a doubt, there's no easier way to get a mythic weapon or a medallion in all of Chapter 5 Season 2. The super overpowered glitch, and I imagine Epic Games will probably patch this very, very soon. Don't worry, coming up next, I'll show how you can unlock Ascendant Midas. But first, like I mentioned earlier, Midas has finally escaped his prison cell in the underworld. He has essentially been held hostage for almost four full years. During that time, all of the different secret agents from Midas' original Shadow Factory Action, began discovering a bunch of clues scattered throughout the Fortnite universe that hinted that Midas was being held captive by the Underworld. To prepare for his return, we saw each and every single one of his crew members return to the Chapter 5 Season 2 Island as a bunch of different NPCs. First order of business was to retake control of the Marigold Yacht that had previously been taken over by the Society in Chapter 5 Season 1. Following that, Midas's crew finally found out where he was being held, located at the prison cell directly underneath where you could find the Hades boss. But as soon as they went there to go investigate it, they found out that Midas had already escaped, all thanks to one of Hades' henchmen, for some reason, freed one of Midas' hands from the shackles. Midas then eliminated both of the guards by using the power of his golden touch. This explains not only the golden reboot card left on the floor in Midas' cell, also the broken golden shackles sitting right next to it. But check this out. The entire time Midas was being held prisoner by the underworld, he spent plotting his revenge. As we all know, whenever Midas comes up with a plan, not only is it always successful, but it always has massive, massive implications for the the Fortnite storyline. Part of Midas's plan actually has to do with the brand new Flora's Lava game mode, because as you probably noticed, the lava itself isn't lava at all, but instead golden lava that has been fully altered thanks to the effect of Midas's golden touch. But that's just the beginning, because the most important part of Midas's plan actually has to do with his yacht, because check this out, obviously by now we all know that this is where Ascendant Midas escaped to, so you're literally able to find him as an interactable NPC on the boat. But get this, it came out that the entire time Midas was gone, he actually decided to leave Brutus, 
Brutus, in charge of every single one of his secret agents. However, Midas himself has some suspicions about Brutus and suspects that he may have actually been recruited by the Underworld and can no longer trust him. Thankfully, it was revealed in the E2 Brutus quest. And not only does everyone in Midas' crew still trust Brutus, there also literally aren't any signs that he actually betrayed him. However, things took a turn for the worse. And his crew actually decided to scan the entire Marigold yacht and discovered some very, very mysterious recording devices planted there. However, after we go and confront Brutus about these recording devices, it goes on to reveal that he didn't put them there at all, and instead Hope did, from back when the society controlled the yacht. And this is where things get really interesting, where Midas' true plan for the future comes into place. Because now that Midas has officially been released from the underworld, him and his crew have finally retaken control of Midas' yacht, Midas' plan can finally happen, which is essentially to gather him and his entire crew on the yacht, and use it to safely leave the island, ensuring that he'll never, ever be held as a prisoner by the underworld ever again. Now that we're all caught up with Midas' storyline, we can finally unlock him as a free skin. Now, unlocking this skin is actually surprisingly simple and easy. However, before you unlock it, there's actually a few other rewards that you earn first. So check this out, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we're obviously dropping into a game. And unlocking the first rewards is super simple. Once you jump out of the battle bus, just make your way over to this exact area I'm headed towards right now, where you will find these little Greek ruins. And inside of it, this little mysterious table made out of water. All we need to do is go up and interact with this little pool and then ask you who you would like to contact. We're gonna go ahead and choose Marigold and she appears out of the table. She then goes on to say, it looks like Midas has escaped. He's always been clever, sometimes too clever. It looks as though those chains of Hades were able to suppress his golden touch. So how did he escape? We already know the answer, which is a guard unshackled one of his hands. So we'll go ahead and press that. And he turned them to gold, which means his curse is only suppressed while the cuff is on. Then he walked out of the underworld free at last. As you can see, we just completed a very another challenge. This granted us our very, very first free Midas reward of the video. And even though I love a free reward, it's honestly not really that cool at all. What we're all really interested in is unlocking the actual Ascendant Midas skin. However, before we're able to do that, we're gonna need to unlock a few more rewards. One of them being this golden rose back bling that is awesome. The other being the super cool marigold glider that has a painting on it. After that, we'll unlock two super awesome sprays. And finally, this super, super crazy golden shark pickaxe. Obviously, this pickaxe itself is a reference to the chapter 2 season 3 trailer where we literally saw Midas get eaten by a shark. Once all of these rewards are unlocked, we can finally unlock Ascendant Midas. This will be done a little bit differently than the rest of the rewards, actually being unlocked in a brand new Midas cup that'll take place on March 24th. Now, not only will this cup give you the Ascendant Midas skin for free, anyone and everyone who earns themselves 8 easy points will also receive this loading screen for free, known as the Rise of Midas. It's super awesome and it's basically that Midas teaser they tweeted out on Sunday of last week. Unlocking this skin itself is a tad more tricky, and its difficulty depends directly on your matchmaking region. For example, in the United States, you must place in the top 2,000 in the Midas Cup in order to unlock the skin for free. But like I said, it's different for every single region, and you can see all of the different requirements listed on your screen right now. Now, you'll also receive the rest of Ascendant Midas's cosmetic set, like the Golden King's Cape, Golden Touch Pickaxe, and even the Golden Ascension Wrap. Don't forget that this entire tournament will actually be taken taking place in the floor is lava game mode if you're serious about unlocking the skin make sure you practice that in the upcoming days leading up to the tournament you know what lads we only got 49 more enemies remaining at this point might as well go for the dub the best way to do that is going to be with the glitch i showed you guys earlier we're going to eliminate the cerberus boss come on baby we'll go ahead and eliminate some of these wolves now we can eliminate cerberus man look at him stuck like an absolute fool don't you feel silly, mate. What are you gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing, that's what he's gonna do. He's literally stuck, come on, buddy. Yes, we eliminated him. Go ahead, take his medallion, why not? I definitely can't say no to his mythic shotgun. Oh, enemy right here, boys. Enemy right here, enemy right here, enemy right here. You ready, 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 ready? Die bomb. Boom. That was sick, it never gets old. What? Yes. Oh, I got our next victim in front of us. Wait, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Oh, he's right here, die bomb. Boom! Okay, wait, there's actually so many people here right now. There's so many. There's so many. Edit. Yes. Oh my goodness, he's so weak. There we go. Oh, and there's some of the last enemies. All the way over there. Oh! 242 meters. Let's go. There's the last enemy right here in front of me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Let's get him. Oh, what a sick victory royale. That was awesome. As soon as we have more information about how everyone can earn Ascendant Midas for free, I'm going to make sure to tweet it all out over my Twitter account for you guys, at home at GamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.